Okay, here's my Dyson uh, V11 torque drive. The, my current issue with this is this trigger here. Sometimes I press this and it won't turn on and sometimes it does, but then it won't turn off. Sometimes when I'm vacuuming, it'll just shut off on its own. Sometimes when I pull it off the docking unit, it'll turn on on its own and it won't shut off. I'll literally have to tap the canister like this in order for it to shut off, but I'll show you what I mean. It's on right now. I'm pressing the trigger and it won't turn off. So I'll hit this and <laughs> it shuts off. Not sure why, I've just had this for two years and it is currently, um, the part which they call the main body and cyclone is on order. It's on back order for a month. So I have the option of either dropping it off at a service center 80 miles away and having to repair, uh, pay for the repairs, 20% uh, off a new $700 plus Dyson machine, or I could um, buy the part which was about $100, which is what I opted to do since I have a large dog and I cannot be without a vacuum. So um, just an FYI, there's a trigger problem here and it's only been a little over two years. My uh, two-year warranty expired on December 21st, I believe. So um, not sure if it was worth the $700, plus now I had to pay another $100 to re to buy the part for this. Um, so something to consider when looking at the Dyson. Yeah, so there you go.